In Genesis in the Bible, it's the very first chapter of the Bible, this is what it says. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, he made the sun and the moon and the water and the land. And then God said, let the land produce vegetation. That's all the green stuff. Seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with the seed in it, according to their various kinds. And God said it was good. Now, that was the third day of his creation. Now, here is the big question. What came first, the tree or the apple, the seed or the tree? Remember, it said in Genesis that God said, let there be trees that have fruit with seed in it. And in three days' time, God was going to make all of the animals and Adam and Eve, first human beings, and they all needed food to eat. You have to have an apple. You have to have an apple tree before you have an apple. And inside the apple are amazing little seeds to grow more apples. But inside all seeds is something like a little machine with lots and lots of information. And it even has a store of energy so it can germinate, sending down roots into the soil so they can search for water and nutrients. And then it grows its own solar farm. That's its leaves. The power plant of a tree. Imagine all the instructions needed to build something amazing like that. It's called photosynthesis. Solar engineers have been trying to copy plants and they can't work it out. God made the trees and the fruit and the seeds. In Romans chapter 1 in the Bible, it says that when we look around at all of God's creation, all the things that God has made, we see his creation and we know that he exists. And he says that no one has an excuse to say that he isn't true. The God of the Bible is our creator God. And have you ever wondered how God protects our fruit? When you take the skin off an apple, it goes yucky and brown. And after a while, you can't even eat it. But apples, oranges, bananas, in fact, all fruit have a skin that protects the fruit on the tree. And while well, it sits waiting in the shop to buy. And also, while well, the fruit is growing on the tree. Think of the poor old fruit sitting out there on the tree through rain and heat and cold, waiting for the time to be picked and then off to the shop and eaten later. God is pretty amazing how he made all of these things for us. <laughs>